Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're making another easy peasy good recipe. It's a holiday classic. None other than the pecan, pecan, however you prefer to say it, pie. You guys, this pie is so good. And I know a lot of recipes, they use the K-Roll syrup, but if you are new, welcome. If you are uh, one of our old YouTube family members and you already know how much Miss Donna loves some breakfast, so every chance I get to eat me something with some syrup, it's on and popping. So today I'm not gonna be using K-Roll syrup, honey. I'm gonna be using some maple syrup, all right? So this is what we're using for our pecan pie. I'm gonna use one cup and one cup of white granulated sugar and then one fourth cup of brown sugar. You see I have both of them in here, okay? brown sugar. Then I will be using just a dash of salt. We have three large eggs and I'm gonna, you know, mix them up, scramble them, not scramble them. I'm ready for breakfast, y'all. <laughs> Always. I'm gonna just beat them just a little bit before I add them um, to the pie mixture. We have our half cup of maple syrup. Now you guys, you don't have to use maple syrup. You can use the Cairo syrup if that's what you prefer in place of the maple syrup, okay? Then we have three tablespoons of melted butter. I will be using two teaspoons of some pure vanilla extract. And then I'm gonna be adding about half teaspoon or teaspoon of maple extract as well. Y'all know I love flavor, okay? And then I will be using a deep dish pie shell, okay? And of course, none other than my one and a half cups of roasted pecans. When I roast my pecans, I roast them on 350 degrees for about eight minutes. You just have to kind of keep an eye on them um, to make sure that you do not burn them. All right, let's see, is that everything? I'm not gonna use a mixer. I'm gonna do this totally by hand, easy peasy, you guys. Now, if you prefer to use a mixer, by all means, you certainly can. But we're just gonna, y'all know I'm used to an arm workout, so we're just gonna mix this up by hand. And I say I'm used to an arm workout because you guys know I like to do my glaze when I do my pound cakes and I just whisk, 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 whisk. So, I'm good with, with mixing it up by hand, but you can certainly use your mixer. Um, I like to start my crust on a high temperature of 425 degrees. Now bake it for about 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna turn it down to 325 and let it cook slow, okay? That's what I call low and slow. I know some people like to par bake their pie shells, but I never do that, I just like to Bake it on a high temperature first and then turn it down. And then that way it ensures that my pie crust is not soggy. Do not like a soggy pie crust, okay? But if you prefer to par bake your pie shells, by all means, you can totally, you can totally do that. As it pertains to the filling in my pecan pie, I don't like it real, real, real firm. I know some people do, and if you do, you can add maybe a tablespoon or two, a tablespoon or two of some flour to the mix. Um, but I like it to have that little bit of, have that gelled look and have a little bit of looseness to it. You know, I just don't want it extremely firm, okay? All right, let me see. Is that everything? Okay. My oven is ready. It's 425 degrees. Somebody also mentioned too in one of the last videos uh, when I did the cream cheese sweet potato pie that if I bake on a baking sheet, put my pie shell on a baking sheet, that that'll help it um, brown as well and get the crust done. And I'm gonna do that today because I think it's just easier to handle the pie if it's on a baking sheet. But normally I'm not able to do that because I'm usually fixing about anywhere from six to eight pies at one time. Y'all, I don't be doing no one pie. I'm doing this 
for y'all <laughs> because I don't do one pie at a time. So this is this is kind of challenging, but anywho, we're all good. Okay, so let's get this mixed up uh, really quick, y'all. And then we're going to get it in the oven. Of course, I've thoroughly washed my hands. Don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands. Tis the season for the holidays. Y'all going to be inviting folk over to eat. I'm going to need y'all to wash them hands, okay? Yeah, and I'm going to keep saying it because you would be surprised. But y'all, please, please, ma'am, please, sir, please wash your hands, okay, before you start preparing food for everybody and even yourself, honey. I'm not going to preach about that today, but y'all already know. Okay, you'll notice that I've already added my pecans to my shell, and that's just the way I prefer to do it. If you would like to add your pecans in the mixture and then pour it, that is perfectly fine, okay? So we're going to start with all of our wet ingredients. I think it definitely makes it easier when you're uh, trying to mix up that sugar if you do your wet ingredients first, okay? Okay, just mix up those eggs a little bit. Here is my maple syrup. And you all are gonna see how quick it is to mix up this pecan pie. Easy peasy good. Gonna add in our melted butter. Three tablespoons of melted butter. And that was a half cup of maple syrup. Then we're adding our pure vanilla extract. You guys, I don't usually measure with my extracts. I just pour. Okay, I'm saying two uh, teaspoons, but you know, somehow a little bit more kind of always seems to end up in there my pure maple extract and we're going to add mm -hmm. yeah a little bit of that and that's it for our whipped ingredients okay now we're going to add our brown and white sugars we're going to add hey back half teaspoon of salt. Y'all, and that's it. We're just gonna mix this up really good. Again, if you prefer to use your mixer by all means. Okay, I think we're good. And you guys, we have mixed that up in less than three minutes. And now we're just gonna pour it over in our pie shell. Now if you want to, you can garnish the top with pecans, but I like for my pecan pie to be easy to cut into and slice because I like pretty slices. And that's also why I like to chop my pecans. But if you don't want your pecans chopped, by all means, looks like I'm gonna have a tad bit left over. You don't like your pecans chopped, but all means you can leave them whole. You can do half pecans. It is whatever you like. Now we're just going to get this in the oven. And I'm baking on 300. Mm, not just yet. I'm baking on 425 degrees for the first 10 minutes and then I will turn it down to 325 and we're
we're probably going to bake about an hour, okay? Um, as it pertains to my pie crust, I like for my pie crust to be brown. I like for it to have that toasted brown look. I don't like a pale pie crust. That's just not my preference. If you prefer that, that's totally fine. But I love for our pie crust to have some color to it and to have it, that beautiful golden brown. Sometimes I end up overcooking them. <laughs> I'm going to try not to do that. But I do like my pie crust to have some color and not be pale. Okay, so... We're going to turn this down in about 10 minutes to 325 and bake low and slow. Okay. So we baked, wait a minute, let me get it off of here. The first 15 minutes on 300, I'm telling the story, on 400. And 25 minutes because again I like my crust golden brown okay then I turned it down to 325 and we baked for another hour and you guys we're gonna have to cool for quite some time so I won't be touching this pie for at least another four or five hours because it has to be totally cool before we slice It is time. Y'all, he looking funny because believe it or not, I have never baked a pecan pie for him. If I just felt like it would be too rich for you. It's always the hardest part to me trying to get it out. Why you got to be looking like that? I'm just looking. Oh, I'm trying to get it. Trying to get some falling all apart. The crust. Okay. And he's standing there looking like he's looking. Yeah, look. That's what I mean. He, you see, he's not anxious to try it. See, y'all, he like the same old stuff. I'm trying to do something different, and he don't know what to do with himself. <laughs> I felt like it would be too rich for you. That's probably why I've never made any. And you see how the, the inside is still, you know, it's a little, the inside is a little wet, if you will. And notice the crust. The crust is done. See, it's not um, soggy. Can y'all see that? Can you see that good enough? I'm trying to do that without knocking the pot off. Okay. So, so you're not going to, he ain't going to fight with me about tasting this, huh? Well, you like pecans. Get a smaller spoon, babe. You like pecans. Sometimes are toasted. What is it supposed to taste like? It's supposed to taste like a pecan pie, sir. Have you ever had a pecan pie? No. You've never had pecan pie at all? No. Okay. It's pecans. Baby, what are you doing? Taking out the pecans. You need to eat the whole pie, not just the toasted pecans. Try to fill it. <laughs> oh, to taste I, like listen, I shouldn't have had you in here for this now. You're going to act like that. What's it supposed to taste like? A pecan pie. What's that taste like? It has a feeling. In it. You ain't going to know until you taste it, babe. I don't know if it's tasting wrong. Well, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. He about to get fired. You, you better keep your day job because you about to lose this and being a taste tester because it's something different. You worse than the kids. I'm going to do this, don't I? I'm going to
Okay, set the piece right there. Put your piece on. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Come on. I mean, I'm going to taste it. Don't give me some time. This is new. You're beautiful. Look, why are you doing all that, y'all? Look. Yeah, we got to get the thumbnail. Yeah. We gotta get the thumbnail when you get your face together because you acting like honey. I'm, I'm gonna eat the thing. Donald just quit pressuring me. He fired. <laughs> he get on my nerves. Let me get the thumbnail while he back there looking crazy. Look at him. Well, babe, you can't be looking disturbed in the uh, thumbnail, so move over to the right just a tad. I'm, I'm a, I'm a put you. <laughs> he get on my nerves. Oh, he get on my nerves. Okay. Back there, like a little. Like you. Y'all, listen. Anywho, another Thanksgiving traditional for a lot of people because we've never had pecan pie. We, we've always done sweet potato. That's thus the reason he's acting like he's acting. Somebody come and get him. I mean, it's different. I mean, I figured you would like it because of the pecans, but I know you don't like I stuff don't, that's it's, real. I, it's it's crazy. How do I even say you don't like stuff that's real, real rich as much candy as you eat? This is all new to me. I'm okay, but do you life. like it, babe? I do. I mean, you know, I'm. I'm it's a scary taste. Or something new. It was so scary about it. It's new. Okay. Anywho, y'all, listen. Thank you. guys. Do you like it, man? Do you like it? I really do. I mean... It's different. I'm trying to get used to it. It's, it's different. Mm -hmm. The feeling is different. Okay. Um, I see, I like I like the feeling jelly. Let me get let me get another up close. Where it's not real, Um, now that he's eating most of it, where it's not real firm. A lot of people add, um, like I said, a couple tablespoons of like self-rising flour to... To make sure that that it's firm, but I just I like I like a little bit of looseness to my feeling. Anywho, uh, well that's not one. He's we don't have to worry about him being greedy on this one right here at all. So that, that's another one too. Can take to work. Denise, she can take that to work tomorrow. Mm hmm. Okay, with well you guys, because he's still trying to figure it out. Anywho, I think it's absolutely delicious. It's good, um, but it's different. Now there's it's also different. one. Y'all, there's also one that's made with, is it sweetened condensed milk? One of the milks. I want to say sweetened condensed milk. Is that what I want to say? I think, I'm, so I might try that one too. Because what I want to do is give you guys like a choice. I'm just curious to see. making a mess. I'm just curious to see. Sometimes I like to try the same thing different ways to see if there's a preference that I have. So I'm wanting to say I'm wanting to say that there's one that's made with sweetened condensed milk. Anywho, so I might try another one before Thanksgiving. I'm going to be that person to take the top off of it. <laughs> that's just eat the pecan top. The crunchy yeah. top. Yeah, because that's kind of candy. But as I was saying, I would like to maybe just try the same recipe a couple of different ways to see which way I really like it. And then that way that'll give, give you guys some kind of idea of maybe which one you want to try. I don't know. For example, that che that sweet potato cheesecake or cheesecake sweet potato. I'm going to try that one again with that sweet condensed milk. I am because I just I need that cheesecake part. For those of us who like stuff that's sweet, it may be challenged with 
cheesecake or what have you I'm just I'm not gonna be satisfied until I try it again and use sweetened condensed milk I'm not gonna mix it together but I want that layer of cream cheese and then I'm gonna try it one more time so hopefully that'll be coming up soon but I'm gonna try it again and that'll be um, the sweet potato the cream cheese sweet potato number two Anywho, okay he sure ain't stop eating. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you've not subscribed, because it's late. I don't know if I said it, y'all, but it's like, uh, this is like almost five hours later that I'm cutting this cake. So, anyway, I mean, this pie. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you've not subscribed, please consider doing so. When you do, turn on that notification bell and it shakes. Okay, that way you'll be notified whenever we're over here doing whatever we're doing whatever it may be because we do a whole bunch of stuff over here okay so thank you guys so much for watching we already look forward to you joining us again will you taste any maple because i may get with maple syrup can you hell no next time bye